Hello and welcome to Give Me Your Money. Today I'm going to be talking about some shorter Kickstarters in Indiegogo. I got like three of them, so this video isn't going to be super long. Anyway, it's time for you to comment. Brent's copying iDubs now. Please, Brent, stop copying iDubs. Brent, I'm going to come into your house. I'm going to fucking make you mashed potatoes. And I'm going to drown you in them. Something stupid like that. Something really cringy and edgy. Something, something completely random, you know? Anyway, let's move on to the first one that I found. It's called My Campaign Title. Fast for the Rukia. Rukia. Is that, is that your name? Um... Well, what? I'm assuming this is cause some kind of test. I'm not going to read the uh, the summary or anything because it's literally just the generic shit that Indiegogo builds for you before you even start. But a uh, what? 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 what, what? Uh, huh? I, I don't understand what you're trying to do here. I, uh, there's a there's a video of a Charlie Brown, an entire episode of the Peanuts. Like a 12-minute video of just the Peanuts. And uh, the test donation perk thing is $33, but also there's a flexible goal, and you just left it up. You just left it all up. I mean, what if someone was like, I'm just gonna donate a dollar to this for the for, for, for the joke, for the meme, I'm gonna do it for the meme. And they'd lose that dollar with your flexible fucking goal shit. F fuck you, Ruika. I don't know you, Ruika, I don't know if you're a bad person, I'm assuming you were just making this for a test, so I'm not gonna give you, I'm not gonna wish you any ill will. Uh, I hope you do well on your real Indiegogo, I believe in you. Let me put forward all my heart, I believe. Just, just do whatever you wanna do, become who you wanna be. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. I need GTA money, only 20 pounds. I I have no money on GTA 5. I only need 20 pounds, so if I get that, then thanks. Why, why, why would you make this? Why, why, why would you make this? Also with a flexible goal. Why, why would you go on a in crowdfunding website and decide, yeah, this is a great place for me to ask for money for my video game. I really need money for my video game. I need that money so that I can buy cars and yachts and boats. Why don't you just do what everyone else does and just be a script kitty? Go on GTA 5, fuck shit up, just get in the car, fucking, fucking hack the code, you know? Do some sweet hacking motion skills, hit your keyboard until it gives you money. I'm gonna be hacking. I'm gonna be hacking as hard as I possibly can. I'm gonna get that goddamn GTA money. I'm gonna show my dad that I wasn't worthless. I'm gonna show my dad that I can do anything. I can do anything if I put my mind to it. I've got 13 cc's of adrenaline in my blood. I'm gonna be ready for fucking everything. I'm gonna be fucking in! I'm gonna be in! I'm gonna get in! I'm in. I mean, it's not like fucking Rockstar cares anyway. You just do whatever the fuck you want in GTA 5. Nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. You just do what you want to do. You just get on there, fucking download some code, and just do it. I don't really have anything more to say about this. I'm not going to give you any money. You also are asking for 500 pounds instead of 20 pounds. So I don't know if this was a joke. I, I expect it was. I expect this kid was put up to, uh, to prank uh, by some of his friends. But uh, just uh, why would you make this? This is public, friend. This is out there in the world. I can see this and I can make fun of you for it. Even if it is just a joke, it's still stupid. It doesn't make it any more retarded. I mean, it's just, it's, it's just dumb. Why? Well, just no. Anyway, next one. This one is a Kickstarter. This one is not like the other ones. This one isn't just a short little romp through, uh, through insanity or testing or give me money, please. This one is for a Louisville gaming lounge, but it's bareface.biz, Louisville premier gaming lounge and more. And my favorite thing about this one is that the picture that he has is just a vertical picture of, I believe, his PS4, and his PS4 has a bare face on it. So I'm assuming that he just was like... Fuck yeah, I like bears. Uh, what if I make a, make a, make a, make a, make a, make a bear face gaming lounge? That sounds like a great idea in Louisville, Kentucky. You know, I just thought Louisville was in Louisiana, but I'm stupid. It's still in the South, basically the same fucking place. Midwest Regional Gaming, Billiards, Cosplay, Local Music, Family Fun Contest, and Prizes, La LARP, OMG, in the future, part of the fam. I don't know what any of that means. All that shit just ran together in my mind like some kind of word diarrhea. I did not have fun with that. My brain is constipated right now, and that word diarrhea did not go well. I don't know why this is in the game section either. I mean, yeah, it's a gaming lounge, but I see a lot of these gaming lounges on the fun like a fan funding website. Like, I believe IDub said this before, so of course, you know, I have to copy him because I'm a fucking cock. Uh, why the fuck do I care about something in your local town? I mean, I understand that this is Kickstarter and it's and it's and it's visible to everybody, but like, why not? I don't know why not. Like, take out a loan. Do you not have any credit? Do you just take out a loan on your gaming lounge? I I I don't care what's going on in Louisville, Kentucky. I mean, just because Kentucky is in the Midwest, although I consider Kentucky in the South, not the Midwest, because I live in the Midwest. I live in Iowa. I don't think Kentucky is near Iowa. Kentucky's fucking over there by Virginia and and uh, and uh, and the other states. Jo Georgia. Uh, I was going to say Alaska, but I meant to say Atlanta, but Atlanta is in a state, it's a city in Georgia. 
about this project. As a gamer, singer, and one that loves positive self-expression, you know, I'm a gamer. I'm also a singer. I love expressing myself. I never get why in this day and age people exclusively are like, I'm, I'm a gamer. And also, why does you being a singer have anything to do with this? I, I understand you want to show, you want to share your, uh, you want to share what you want to do, but you didn't even have like an AutoCAD print up of your, of your project, dude. I mean, come on, dude. You got to have a little bit more when you're asking people for money. You can't just show a picture of your PS4 and be like, yeah, this is good. People are going to give me all their money. This is going to be great. They're going to give me all their money. That's it. I said the name of the show. <laughs> oh, jokes. I would love to be getting a business. Well, what people would consider. What does that even mean? What people would consider. It's, it's, you want to build a gaming lounge. That is a business. We're art, music, gaming, and closer awesome community. I don't know what that means. I have big plans, and if you let me unleash what I have in store for this city and more. You didn't explain anything. You literally said, give me money for a gaming lounge. Please give me money for a gaming lounge. I want to start my own gaming lounge. I just, I don't I just fucking understand it. Why can't you just be specific? Put in some points. Think about, think about your Kickstarter. Think about your fucking crowdfunding project before you put it up. Just think. Take a minute. Think. Write an outline down. That's right. I'm fucking English teaching your asshole. Write a goddamn outline. Write a goddamn research paper. I want a fucking bunch of information. I want to know how you're doing it. I want to know what it's going to look like. I want to know what's going on because if you have any idea of getting people to give you money, you have to give them a, a, a semi-finished product. You have to give them at least an idea of what your product's going to be like. None of this half-assed generic bullshit where you're just like, yeah, dude, totally going to start a gaming lounge, dude. That's like me in high school, and I was like, oh, man, dude, you're going to start a band. going to be called gonna be called uh, Stupid Intelligence. It's going to be great. I'm going to make a lot of friends, and then I'm going to have a band. Uh, what instrument am I going to play? Am I, am I, am I going to play? I'm going to play vocals. I'm going to be the lead singer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, that was stupid. That was a stupid idea. It was a fleeting thought, and it was a dumb thing for me to say. I'm a little bit drunk, if you can't tell right now. When I get the, the more drunker that I get, the faster or I talk and I don't know my brain kind of opens up my filter turns off but I think this is stupid that's 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 the point I'm trying to make here this is dumb risks and challenges with a promising business such as this there should not be a big challenge I promising business dude like a gaming lounge I mean how many goddamn gaming lounges are there in Louisville how, how, how many are there I'm, I'm it's a slightly bigger city I assume so I, there's got to be at least one or two and one or two gaming lounges is about all you need in a city I mean I live in fucking Sioux City and there's no fucking gaming lounges. There's none. There's a couple, like, there's, like, two comic book shops. There's, like, 60,000 to 100,000 people here. There's, like, two comic book shops, and there's, like, fucking maybe two local video game stores. It's some weird dude trying to start his own chain. And no, a gaming lounge is a terrible business. Unless you have the crowd already giving you money and already interested. You can't just be like, my friends and I are trying to make this thing, and we're trying to make this thing a thing. No, that's not how that works. Unfortunately, that's not how the world works. Unfortunately, the world is a depressing place where people die every fucking day. Let me just remind you of that. And nobody's dreams come true. Nobody's. Even the people who dre whose, whose dreams come true are incredibly depressed all the time because their dreams came true, and now they have nothing to strive for. Like, what do you do when your dreams come true? What do you do? What do you do when you've done everything you wanted to do? You're done. When you're, like, 25 and you're fucking a millionaire, what are you going to do with all that money? Just be like, oh, shit. I, I, I've completed life. I've won life the game. I've got all the achievements. i got all the trophies. i got that gamer score. What am I going to do? I don't know if I can go fuck some hookers or something, do some blow, live it up a little bit. I, I, I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. Anyway, this is stupid. I'm, I'm just saying this is stupid. I think if you took your Kickstarter a little bit more seriously and you put a little bit more time into it, I totally understand it succeeding in some way. But the way it is now, it's not going to do anything, dude. It's not going to go anywhere. All right. There's one reward. It's a uh, pledge $35 or more and you get a one-year membership and a business t-shirt. Also, there's 30 left. What was the, what was the, what was the goal again? $10,000. Is $10,000, $10,000 I don't even think is enough to start like a business. Is that enough for even like a, a down payment on a, on a fucking like building? Depending on what building you get. Have you even scoped out buildings, dude? Like to rent and stuff? I mean, that's, that's, that's the first thing you gotta do is figure out exactly how much it's gonna cost you and then put up a reasonable goal. I just, I just gotta say, dude, you, you just gotta think about this a little bit more. I'm not ragging on you completely. You just gotta think a little bit more before you do it to do. But your picture has you wearing a fedora, so I don't know. I don't know, do you vape, bro? You probably vape. That makes me a little bit sad. But you keep doing you, and I'll keep doing me, and we'll be fine. That's uh, that's all I had to say. Thank you for watching. Please check out my other videos. There are also things. And if you want to watch more Gimme Your Monies, click on the top right-hand corner. If you want to watch a video that has nothing to do with my channel whatsoever, click on the bottom left-hand corner. If you want to buy shirts and shit, that's at the top left-hand corner. And I also have a Patreon because I'm human and garbage. At least I'm willing to admit it. That's in the, the bottom right-hand corner. All right, bye. I'm going to go jump into the tub. You know, take my daily tub time. I'm going to take a nice hot bath. 
and then take a cyanide pill that I found on the side of the road. That's a, that's a good joke right there. That's a quality joke. I'm glad I made such a good joke. I'll never make such a good joke again. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, because I'm gonna be fucking dead. Because I'm gonna be a fucking dead boy. All right, bye.